Perhaps it is necessary for us to view Mr. Churchill as a brilliance whose theories should be considered in our own struggle. Some cast aside with revulsion, and others embraced with vigor. This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by PortCityCoin.com To paraphrase Hillsdale College's Larry Arn, a politicians write books which do they do not write, to be read by people who do not read them. The quality is lamentable, and the payment for the writing are not done is not small. Alas, on the rare occasions where a statesman appears upon the scene uh, with an impressive uh, command of his language, it is not inappropriate to take notice and hear him out on all relevant points. It is asked, and well should be asked, uh, why have you, uh, uh, Winston Ridley, of New Hampshire, uh, a foe of monopoly governance and of empire, adopted uh, the comportment of a ruthless minister who served a representative monopoly and gloried in a monarchy's uh, dominion? It has been said, America needed a foe of her aggressive war, but the man to do it was not Michael Moore. You may rest in confidence that both I and the old lion whose accoutrements I mimic uh, have achieved uh, this condition. There are those of us who look upon Mr. Churchill's deadly yet luminous career and perceive the many lamentable acts of aggression, uh, but also the brilliant defenses against it. The eagerness to bring wars to the quickest practical end at the smallest practical loss and a largely honorable treatment of vanquished foes. The failings and brutalities are scheduled to be dealt with on this channel uh, and within the bounds of practicality are dealt with harshly. As Mr. Orwell once put it, though writing about someone else, quote, one ought to be able to hold in one's head simultaneously the two facts, unquote. The old lion was both and neither hero and villain. It is conventional for men to imagine, uh, what might I do with great powers such as I will never have? The better question is, uh, what might I do with little power, uh, such as I already have? There was a period of a decade or so uh, where it seemed Mr. Churchill could uh, uh, civically do little more than perform speeches and, and write. Uh, this he spent invoking against tariffs, uh, the growing Nazi menace, and, uh, lamentably, the necessary prospect of Indian self-rule. Uh, but uh, the further he got from being the government, uh, the further he got from being uh, the guilty. Now, right this is in more ways than you may yet realize. Thus, uh, the question uh, further evolves. Uh, what can be done with an ability to commandeer, if not channel, uh, to project, if not duplicate, perhaps a third of the virtues which delineated this office holder? And, we may hope, less than a third of the vices. The answer is surely more than nothing. Uh, how would it play if a strange light were to affix itself to the map of New England and begin growing in luminosity? A rebirth, uh, if not of a great historical figure, uh, then at least of a great historical craft. One moment, one moment... Do not wriggle. Uh, very well. Oh, yes. All functional. Very continual. Not malfunctioning. Um, yes. Historical craft. Uh, yes. Um, uh, uh, yeah, Churchillian techniques or concepts turned quasi Churchillian. What might a practitioner of them be able or unable to achieve? 
uh, proven philosophies of contest, methods of phrase, or conventions of dress, or what might be their limitations when raised uh, not by a nation, but by a flawed voice, a far more minoritized uh, than the one he imitates. Mm. Uh, stripped of their ministerial portfolios and leadership acumen, but braced by the simple brilliance of the zero aggression principle. How deeply or cautiously or should we place hopes in them? Perhaps we will be privileged to learn this in the years to follow. It is said, and said well, one should not prophesy one's own, uh, one's own actions. Uh, the going uh, thither and the coming hither uh, may be interrupted at any moment uh, by the hand of the elements of human intervention. Maybe out. Maybe out. KBO means uh, keep buggering on. <laughs> um, <clears throat> that there, but there are um, there are tentative schemes for this uh, this thinking person's costume. It, it may appear this costume, which may not be in perfect order at the moment. <laughs> um, um, uh, may not be in perfect order, but it is being worn. Um, they have to go in here. They're coming in. Intervention, uh, but there are there are tentative schemes for this thinking person's costume. Uh, it may appear outside government offices and deliver, or at least uh, contain the deliverer of um, oppositional speeches. It may, uh, more rarely but more effectively, find its way uh, to deliver testimony at their meetings. It may be able uh, from wherever it may be to invoke against uh, the many authoritarian excesses which have driven so many of us uh, to the live-free-or-die state. It may oppose those which persist, even here. It may uh, lapse into quiescence if insufficiently observed. (sighs) Uh, There is, lastly, the possibility uh, that it may be compelled at any point to carry on its mission from the shadows of confinement. For this empire does not lament the seizure of its critics, coveting more than any other other conventions of imprisonment. One almost uh, cannot rise from studies of the old lion without carrying around them uh, the aura of contradiction, the turbulence of dichotomy. Perhaps it is necessary for us to view Mr. Churchill as a brilliance whose theories should be considered in our own struggle. Some cast aside with revulsion, and others embraced with vigor. Perhaps it is possible for me only to view him as a grandfather never known, yet terribly understood, worthy of the most stubborn defense and fanatical opposition. Uh, words, as the vendetta figure well put it, will always retain their power, and sometimes a good performance has unexpected inspirations upon humanity. Rare coins, pawns, gold and silver bullion. Check out Port City Coin in Portsmouth, New Hampshire for your precious metal needs. A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, happy to do a cash transaction. Why buy your medals from one of those slave state mints when you can support the free state economy? Visit PortCityCoin.com, or as I like to call it, PortCityCoin.com.